And this is my OOTD. I love the consistency. You guys, it is just like so satisfying, the smell. It's like addicting. It's your bestie, Miss Miss Westie. So this is my acrylic so far. Okay, girl, we have two bags of stuff to go ahead and try on. You guys, Ross has the cheapest clothes. Look how adorable this shirt is, and it was $6.99. Ooh, imagine if your armpits smelled like nair. Ooh, I'm so happy my lash appointment is today, girl. My dang lashes are doing gang signs. You know, I have completely forgiven my dad. I cannot believe I did my own toes, y'all. Hello, can I have a grande strawberry acai lemonade with light ice? Ooh wee, girl. Man, their ranch is fire. I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave, in my grave. But God blessed me to see another day, and even when. I know, I had the same exact top as my last video, but it's clean, don't worry. I mean, even if it wasn't, why are you worrying? Anyways, how are y'all feeling about daylight savings? Even though I already know what you're getting ready to say, how are you feeling? Cause let me tell you something, I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling good about it. But you know what? It takes this one less hour stuff for us to be grateful for the extra hour. Sometimes we gotta make sacrifices to get to the goal, okay? You feel what I'm saying? When that extra hour come back, we're gonna be feeling all kind of good, okay? So you know what? We gotta go through this little tough time, get a little schedule down, and then we're gonna be sleeping in the extra hour. You feel what I'm saying? Anyways, girl, what is going on? So I thought I had to take a new ID picture today. Made an appointment, I went in there today, had my makeup done and everything. I go in there and there was this lady, she was so rude, you guys. She tried to make me feel so stupid, but I, you know what? Not today, Satan, no. And I was like, hi, I'm just here to like take a new ID picture. She looked at my ID and she was like, yeah, so if I were to take a picture today, it's gonna come back just like this. You have to do it 50 days before. I said, ma'am, online it was telling me 90 days. No, the piece of mail that you got has a cupcake on it. It says 50 days, I know exactly what it says. I had to hold myself back. Cause what I really wanted to say was, excuse me, I didn't say the mail. I said online, it said 90 days. But you know what? You ain't getting no reaction. I said, okay, you have a great day, bye. Mm -hmm. Look at these new bags Target just came out with. They're giving like these kind of bags now, guys. I was like, no way you're giving that to me. She's like, yeah, these are like the new bags. I mean, they still have the older bag. Where are that? Yeah, they still have these. But for like box stuff, they have these bags. So I thought that was really cool. Oh, but you know what? While I'm doing the grocery haul, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up one of these meals. So Target has these new like microwave meals. And one thing about me is I can make anything good, okay? So if this is bland, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be, I'm gonna add some seasoning, some accents, some pepper, some sauce, some garlic, some onion powder, you feel what I'm saying? And it's gonna be good. But it says to throw this in for seven to eight minutes. And I actually went ahead and bought two of these and two of like another one that they had. Oh my gosh, if this is good, I'll be super happy about that. I'm like, girl, if I ain't gotta do makeup, I won't do it. You feel what I'm saying? Nowadays, I don't even like doing makeup for real. It's like a hassle. So I done got my butt up, did my makeup, just for her to tell me, now 50 days. I got two of the chicken Alfredo, and then I got two of these family style ZT Parmesan with Italian style sausage. I recently had a factor meal. My brother had ordered like a big box of factor meals, and they're like, cooked meals by chefs that you can just warm up. And I had a meal just like this and it was so good, you guys. So I went ahead and picked up like two of these Italian meals. I know, I'm a content creator, I understand that. But there are just like certain things I don't like doing on camera. But I do do them here and there, but it's like not very consistently because like I prefer to do them off camera. Those two things would definitely be cleaning and cooking. Like when I'm cleaning and cooking, it's just such a hassle when I have to like record and like switch angles and talk and do all the extras. So I don't be doing like a lot of cleaning and like cooking on camera, like my wifely duties, but I do. I be cooking and cleaning. It's just that on my filming days, like I prefer not to do so much cooking. Now that we got that out of the way and now that we know that I am a good wife, <laughs> even if I didn't cook, even if you don't cook, but you make sure your husband got a meal, you a good wife. I do more of the traditional roles 
but at the same time i don't you feel what i'm saying like i do cleaning and cooking but he also does as well we just vibe like we're in this together i help you you help me i got you you got me i understand you you understand me you feel what i'm saying it's just perfect it really works out um i got a box of uncrustables because my mom's been liking these and i also used to buy these all the time i don't know if y'all remember back in my mom's apartment when i lived with her i used to always eat these with a naked smoothie girls so i went ahead and got a box of uncrustables and then me and jordan really like these we put these in the air fryer honey and i buy these because when i don't want to cook he's cool with throwing anything in the air fryer like like he's not really a cooker but he can throw stuff in the air fryer and cook it up real well so i'll be buying stuff like this for the times that i don't want to cook let's say i'm editing and there's no time to cook every minute counts when editing he'll go ahead and throw these in the air fryer and these are our favorite these are the tyson any any tizers oh my gosh i need water you guys they're barbecue, honey barbecue chicken bites, you guys. My mouth is so dry. I went ahead and got some smoothie fruit. This is the tropical blend. It comes with mango chunks, sliced strawberries, and pineapple chunks. Y'all, I go through a bag every two days because I love my smoothies. And I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I do see a big difference in my skin. Drinking smoothies every single day. I'm telling you, like, I'm not tripping. I don't know, y'all. It's, it's doing something. I'm going to put you guys at a lower angle so y'all can see the groceries a little bit better um i also got some olive garden ranch i've never tried this ranch but i'm so picky with ranch you guys and the last time i tried to make wing stop ranch i didn't do it right and it was like a disaster it was like way too salty and gross so you know what i'm just trying to find a good ranch that i can eat straight out of the package and i'm hoping this is it so i just got some parmesan ranch um by olive garden i got some chick-fil-a sauce their original chick-fil-a sauce they didn't have no ranch y'all should say ranch because i will say i do love chick-fil-a ranch now y'all y'all know me i only do cranberry juice in my smoothies i just love it it's just perfect for me it's the perfect taste it's just amazing but i told my husband today i want to make us like some lemonade smoothies so i bought some simply lemonade so i'm about to go ahead and make that as well um but i'm gonna put wait a minute the reason why i'm pausing is because i was gonna make myself a collagen smoothie he can have some collagen too i don't know why i'm acting like he can't handle collagen i bought some collagen um at target because i want to get started on collagen so i bought this vital proteins collagen peptides unflavored powder Powder. and basically you can put this in any drink and it has no flavor you can put it in water smoothies juice anything they do have different flavors but i just wanted to get this one because when i put it in my smoothie it won't taste like anything but the reason why i got this is because i do want to prevent as much like aging as possible there's nothing wrong with aging like there's nothing wrong with that but there's also nothing wrong with trying to like prevent certain things so i went ahead and got this collagen peptides powder and i'm gonna start putting this in my smoothie every single day and basically it helps with your skin your hair Hair, nails and joint support now when I see that it helped with joint support oh my gosh I was so excited because my joints have not been the same since Accutane I'm not gonna lie if you go on Accutane there is a very big possibility you will still be in pain after Accutane like my knees and my shins and my back still hurt I'm really hoping that helps um let's see what this is looking like oh it look good Definitely ain't no seasoning in there. Like, it ain't no, I don't smell no garlic. I don't smell no onion. I just smell cheese. It's very hot. So I'm gonna let it sit out for like a minute and a half more. It wasn't really like a grocery shopping trip. It was just like, let me grab a couple things for like, lunches and dinners if i don't want to like cook i have to make detergent today y'all we are on our last drop of detergent so y'all know last time i just went ahead and got the pre-made powder i usually go to walmart and i get like a bunch of different powders and mix them in but i'm gonna get a little lazy with that so i just been buying a big old thing of tide okay and then i just put scent beads so this time i'm gonna do baby powder because i love baby powder laundry detergent so yes this does have a downy scent so it'll smell like downy and baby powder my family loves the baby powder detergent i make and i make it extra scented so i got two whole things of dreft blissful's in scent scent boosters and it has the baby fresh scent i love it it smells so good i was so mad when dreft um their liquid detergent they changed the scent of it or they just took away the scent because there's like no scent to dreft anymore but they used to smell exactly like these beads not anymore which sucks but at least they still have the beads so we're gonna make some baby powder detergent in today's vlog i got these new chips um lays just came out with sweet and spicy honey okay and then i got a box of ferolas okay then we're gonna go up to my room because me and my husband we be snacking at nighttime i'm not gonna lie we probably should but we be snacking at nighttime all right y'all let's see what we can do because we gotta go ahead and snazz this up okay we can't just be having no bland food all right so let's see what we got we're gonna put a little bit of salt not too much now not too much we're gonna put a little bit of garlic Put a good amount. I'ma put some. What an onion powder? Hey, what an onion powder? What an 
onion. What? A oh, here it is right in front of my face. That's a dang shame. We're going to put some onion powder, my favorite seasoning, apart from accent. <laughs> Speaking of accent, we're going to go ahead and put some accent. It look good, though, babe. It actually do look good. It do, but you know what? Looks can be deceiving. That's true. So we'll see. I'm going to put some pepper. I know I like it regardless. I already know that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling them. Because I was thinking the other day, I was like, I don't really be like cleaning or cooking on camera. So they probably think I'm like a lazy wife. But I do. It's just I don't like to do it on camera. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, this looks so creamy and good. It does. You can eat that whole thing by yourself. No, I cannot. That's just like a regular meal. You think so? Yeah, I think you could eat that by yourself. Then you want me to warm you up on separate? Let's do yeah. that. Okay. Let's do that so you can have more food. For sure. Yeah, what was I thinking? Because that looks like you could eat all that. No, I can't eat it in one serving. Um, but you can go back to it, though. Yeah, I'm going to give you this one, though, because it's already made. So taste it and see how you like it. If you feel like it could go for something more, um, let me know, because I, I don't know what it needs. If you feel like something is missing. I think it's perfect like this. You think so? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's actually really good. Good. You're welcome. I'm just going to leave the same seasonings out to make it more simple. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and accent. Right. You know what? I might throw a little bit of Parmesan and herb in mine. Okay. But I'm about to go ahead and make me a little smoothie, y'all. Do you want to keep your cap or no? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm about to eat it all. Okay. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and make us a little collagen smoothie with lemonade. I'm excited for that because I'm, I'm in the mood for like a, a nice, fresh drink like Fruity, this. Fruity. Yeah, exactly. Cold. I still got more of this smoothie. Um, in the fridge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend in more fruit, the lemonade, and the collagen. Cause this is this is a good smoothie. I made this yesterday. Okay. It's just very liquidy because I put tons of cranberry juice. Certain mornings I like a thick smoothie. Certain mornings I like it to be very watery. Yesterday was one of them days. So I got me a little watery smoothie here. This is kind of turning into like a FaceTime vlog, y'all. Um, we're gonna put this little fruit in there. Oops. Combine two to four tablespoons with eight fluid ounces of liquid mixed thoroughly. Well, I don't know how much fluid ounces will be in here. So I'm just gonna like guesstimate y'all. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put four scoops. Cause I really don't know like how much to put. Well, regardless, you're gonna be healthy today. Right? <laughs> Ooh, I love me some simple lemonade. It'd be so good and refreshing. All right, this is gonna be like a liquidy smoothie. Ooh, it feel like that Gorilla Machine at Chuck E. Cheese. I love the consistency. Ooh, I think that was like a whole fruit that just dropped in there. Ooh, that's yummy. <laughs> right, they be good. I be eating my little pineapple chunks. Okay. Come on now. Well, we might as well drink the whole thing. Are you gonna drink it all? Yeah. You better, cause it's good for you. It look good. I'm gonna give you a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that lemonade. I usually never drink a drink without a straw, so maybe it's just because I ain't got a straw. Something's throwing me off, but it's good. I know what you're saying. It, it tastes a little different. It's the lemonade. Yeah, you can taste the lemonade for real. But I really do like it. I enjoy it. I like it. I feel like it wouldn't have been bad if it was just strawberries and the lemonade and then the collagen. But I think it's the mix between the cranberry juice from the other smoothie, the other fruits mixed with this. It's just so much going on. But it's good. Yeah. Since I know what's in it, it's good. But if I bought that smoothie, I'd have been like, this is disgusting. <laughs> But since I know what's in it, I don't know, I'm, I'm weird like that sometimes. But um, let me go ahead and start seasoning up my food and start eating. My brother talking about something. It wasn't no detergent yesterday when he was doing his laundry. I'm like, mm-hmm. See, so used to me making sure I got everything in the house. So I was lacking a little bit. You see, I be coming in handy. I be coming in clutch. I be taking care of the business. I actually have to get the top part now. Yeah, later. <gasps> the smoothie. Boy, I just threw the top away. You have to rinse the top off. That's fine. Let me eat, girl, exactly. She be always trying to eat my food, y'all. It's my fault. Don't ever feed your dog. Well, feed him, but just don't feed him human food. <laughs> I said, don't ever feed your dog. <laughs> it's good. It just needs cream cheese. Like, it's missing that cream cheese. It's missing, like, that cream cheese. <laughs> mm. 
Next time though, I will get some cream cheese, cut it up into like little tiny cubes, and then microwave that, and then mix that around. Cause it's just like bland. Like even with the seasoning, cause that cream cheese missing. So I'm drinking my smoothie with my little meal or whatever. And when I tell you guys, this smoothie tastes like totally different to me now, ever since I started eating my food. Like it tastes so refreshing and so good. It might be my favorite so far. I know that sounds crazy because I was just like, this would be disgusting if I didn't make it to this is one of the best movies i've ever had <laughs> because it honestly is it's like way more refreshing than my normal ones exactly you see that's what i was saying like i wanted like a refreshing drink and this is literally that yeah it's, it's very refreshing too. very yeah. it's yeah. really good it's even better through a straw but do your thing do your big one <laughs> <laughs> am i the only one that has a poodle and when they get groomed i'm just like oh my gosh you're so tiny like she's so tiny oh my gosh my little 17 pounder I'm a yoga day mother. You're so cute, my baby. You're so cute. I love it. When I woke up this morning, y'all, I was just in tears because I had freshly woken up from such a realistic dream about Essence. I don't know when it won't hurt anymore. Anytime she comes to my mind, anytime the conversation of Essence comes up, like I can't, or I would just break down in tears. So I woke up this morning and like I had to fight to not be in a funk because that dream was so realistic and I just. When I woke up, I was holding her in the dream. And like, I had given her up for adoption in the dream too. It was so realistic, but um, I took her for a day and I just held her and held her. Anyways, let's get started on this detergent. So I just got a box of Tide and I'm just gonna pour this in there and then pour the two scent beads in there. And then we've got detergent for a little while. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a little, this is a very little box. Like the boxes are like way more small. Boy, that stuck it in there. And it already smells good because it smells like downy, which downy is such a beautiful scent. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just like so satisfying, the smell. It's like addicting. Try to get every last little bead, okay? These things are expensive. You hear me? Wait a minute. Okay, now we're good. Man, I just be thinking like, I could use this bottle for something. At least I can recycle it. That's one thing I was so grateful for when I moved here is they have recycling. Like, I'm so happy about that because y'all know I have like a lot of hygiene empties every month and I want to be, you know, for the planet too. Now I gotta start mixing this bad boy around. All right. I shake my curls back and forth. I shake my curls back and forth. I shake my. Your bestie, Miss Miss Westie. What'd she say? Please don't test me or it's gonna get messy. If you're a curly girl, I know I have repeated this a million times on my channel, but shake your hair when it's dry. If you do it too early, you can mess up your curl pattern. But if your hair is completely dry, flip your head over, get your fingers, put them in there like a rake, and then shake. Shake from the back, shake from the sides. It's harder if you have rings on because your rings can snag your hair, so I wouldn't really suggest that. Flip it. Okay, and voila. Okay. And also, I didn't get to show you guys my full outfit from today, so here is a quick clip of my OOTD. And this is my OOTD. Yes, ma'am. My jacket is from H&M. My shirt is from Victoria's Secret Pink. Y'all know this is my favorite type of corset top. My pants are from Garage. And these little boots, I don't even know what the heck to call these, but like these little boots are from H&M. Oh, thank you. Girl, I am having such an amazing time. I'm having like some girl time, some me time, some pamper time. So right now I am attempting to do my own acrylic 
toenails. Y'all know I love to get acrylic on my big toes. The reason why is because it just looks so much more like clean and neat. Because my natural toenail is like a rainbow, like it curves over, the acrylic makes it look more flat. My natural toenail also goes up a little bit. I literally have my dad's toenail, like his exact toenail, I have it. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. I just like to have my acrylic on my toes. But every single time I find somebody that can do my nails exactly how I like them done, for some reason, when I go back to them, they're just not doing it how they first did. And it just does not make sense. So I just told myself the other day, I am going to learn how to do my own acrylic toenails. I don't care how many times I mess up. I don't care how many mistakes I make. I don't care how many times I screw my toenails up. I need to learn how to do my own toenails. They're also, these pedicures are expensive. Girl, I pay $85 every single time I get a pedicure. And I'm tired of having to like repeat myself to people. I'm tired of being like unhappy when I leave the salon. So girl, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Like I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I went to Sally's and I bought like a bunch of nail stuff. I bought like a little beginner acrylic kit. I got a good brush because one thing I know about a beginner acrylic kit is they don't have no good brushes. So I went ahead and got a good brush, some polishes. My mom has a drill. I'll show y'all my little setup. And girl, I got everything I need to go ahead and do my little acrylic toenails. The only thing I'm struggling with right now is it's taking forever to dry and I think it's the acrylic that I'm using it could be my fault maybe I'm using too much uh, monomer but I'm like getting a good amount of it out so I'm like why is it taking so long to dry um I think it's the acrylic but I'm not worried about it girl I have the patience I have the time I'm not in a rush so I can sit here with my little fan because this little thing this little steady petty pro thing I bought at Sally's I just realized it has a fan on it and when I tell y'all it's drying it's acrylic girl it's drying it's acrylic but let me show y'all my little progress I tried to like um paint my toenails last night y'all um and I was just like no I need my acrylic so that's why I'm working on that today so this is my acrylic so far I haven't shaped it. I haven't done anything. All I have done is applied acrylic. But so far, y'all, I think I'm doing pretty good. What do y'all think? My nail girls out there, what do you guys think? But this is my little setup, y'all. So my mom let me borrow her file. She was like, make sure you bring it back. I'm like, I will. I got these two little polishes. Um, I was supposed to get an OPI clear coat at Sally's, but I forgot. So I had to get this one at Target. But I got an OPI um, like white nail polish. And then I got like a top coat. Got my file, my scissors, and my nail glue. Okay. Oh, I gotta go grab like the primer and stuff. I got some little toe dividers. Yes, ma'am. So I should have read this stuff before I actually got started because I didn't know that I was supposed to put this on before I put the nail tip on because it says pre-nail extension dehydrant. I thought I only had to do um, the primer because I've never had anybody put anything on before my nail tip. I'm like, what they been doing? Is they doing something wrong? I never like the nail tips. This is where I first started off. Y'all just want a bathroom looking like this because this is where I first started. I never liked the nail tips that the salons had so I always had these in my glove compartment so I just went to my old car and I just found these in my glove compartment y'all This acrylic is taking forever to dry. I'm going to try a different acrylic that I've seen there. Or I'm going to try the Kiara Sky kind because I can order that. I think I've seen it on Amazon, I think. Because I'm going to I'm gonna slay these nails. Like, I'm going to get good at these nails. I am not going to sit up here and play. I love when my feet be looking all nice and pretty. I'm going to get good with designs, jewels, girl, all of that. I ain't playing because they had jewels. Well, Sally's be overpriced and I'm just going to get everything on Amazon. Um, I'm going to be hooking my nails up. Practice makes perfect. And I had told myself, I said, girl, because y'all know I'll be talking to myself now. I said, girl. If you mess up, it's your first time. Like, honestly, who cares? The more you go, the better you're going to get. You will not regret it. Okay, matter of fact, you're going to be so happy you did. Because you're going to only get better and better and better and better. Pretty soon people are going to be asking you, girl, where you get your feet done at? I'm like, girl, I do my own feet. got to believe in yourself. Okay, you got to believe in yourself. So I'm going to be sitting here for a little minute trying to dry off these toenails. Girl, and I sure was sitting there for a while. It is literally 640 the next day. And I am finally going to get started painting my nails. Well, I did paint the left one because the 
the left one dried pretty good but the right one y'all know i did that one after the left one so it just took so freaking long to dry man i bought this dang opi nail polish yesterday you guys and i'm like i don't know if somebody returned it but the brush is screwed up but i'm not gonna return it because y'all i screwed up my nails so many times yesterday trying to paint them i took off so much polish i'm like half the bottle's probably already gone i don't even have the right to return this but um if you don't watch my channel then you probably don't know but basically girl i'm growing out of all of my pants for the first time in my life i am actually gaining weight which feels amazing like this is like the most confident i have ever felt in my body like in my entire life when i was at ross i seen these super cute pair of sweatpants and they said new york on them and they were like flaring at the bottom they were so freaking cute but i was like no there's no way they're gonna fit my waist but then they were just so cute i was like honestly man this brush is so stupid like it's just getting all over my skin they look too cute so i was like you know what i'm just gonna put a sweater over it even if they are too big and it will cover up you know not fitting my waist so anyways i go to the dressing room and first of all i was just so freaking shocked by how cheap all my pants were they were like 10.99 11.99 and i put those pants on that's my new size perfect fit my husband was like, those are actually perfect. Like, that's literally your size now. And we were both like, these are going to be way too big for me. Girl, was I so happy. It's like, I felt like I had accomplished something. Like, I was in the dressing room so, like, ecstatic. Like, wow, girl, you finally gained some weight. Because I haven't gained weight in, like, I want to say three or four years. I've been in the same size clothing. And I know that's so unhealthy because you're supposed to grow. But I have not been growing because I haven't really been eating. Gaining weight. And I just got some new pants that fit me. So I'm really happy about that. And they fit my body really well. Let me actually drink some coffee. My toenails look like a two-year-old painted them, but you know what? Oh my gosh, I look so crazy. Um, you know what? Hopefully the shower will take some of that extraness off. I'm gonna have a little bummy day today, y'all, because I am just not trying to get cute. My eyebrows always take me like 10 minutes. I do that every single day. I'm not doing it today. I didn't apply this acrylic right, but you know what? It's gonna be what it's gonna be. I didn't bring it all the way to like my cuticle, so oh well, I'll get better. They look decent though, y'all. I think they look pretty decent. Not too bad, not too shabby. I will say, they definitely look way better than when I started. So, you know what? Girl, that's progress. Looking good. I'm gonna get so much better, y'all. I'm not playing. I have forgot to put the top coat on, but I got the top coat on and I'm feeling pretty good, y'all. Sandal weather is really coming fast this year. Yesterday, no, not yesterday. The day before yesterday was 68 degrees and sunny. Then the next day, it was just pouring rain and it was so dark outside. It was crazy. I'm like, Michigan weather is so bipolar, but you know what? I'm so grateful for that day because it really gave me hope that more days like that are coming. And I am so excited to start breaking out the sandals. It's just so amazing being able to walk outside and not have to worry about getting a coat, boots, being able to walk in, toss your flip flops off and get in the house. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, but I do also want to do like a little Amazon haul. Girl, this Amazon haul was seriously needed because let me tell y'all something. I think I might have to stop shaving my underarms and also like my belly area underneath my belly button. Because as y'all know, my belly area is very prone to anger. Ingrowns. I have been experiencing crazy ingrowns that I've never experienced before and it's like yeah I can sit up here and do like tips and tricks for my belly for like the ingrowns and stuff like that I do really like that Fenty skin scrub it really has been helping but I would rather just like eliminate it all so the oh this is Veet oh, I thought I bought an air okay this might be a little bit better because the reviews were saying that they were using it on their yeah their bikini full bikini and they had no irritation they said it didn't smell bad this is a two minute cream by V. So I need to go ahead and try this. I just shaved the other day. I don't know why if I ordered this. Forgot to mention this, but the reason why I wanted to use it for my underarms is because hyperpigmentation. You know, shaving does cause hyperpigmentation. This is the bottle and I'm really hoping this is the key to all of my problems. I've known about Nair, y'all. I have known about Nair, but my mom used Nair growing up and I literally could not stand the smell. She couldn't even either. So she stopped using it because it was just so bad. The smell of Nair is crazy so i just never mess around with it because i don't want my home smelling like that i don't want my back like girl no when i seen the reviews talking about some this don't have a bad smell i said what'd you just say they doing that now is that possible so i'm gonna see dude it smells like flowers okay there still is that under scent of like nair but it's so faint it smells good. Oh my gosh, it smells like a perfume. It literally smells like a perfume. And the crazy thing is, is like, I've never had a problem with that. Like, I've never really had a problem with ingrowns or like razor bumps on my belly. It's just never really been a thing. But my body is changing. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This is the most my body has ever changed. Like, ever. From my periods. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Y'all. 
you guys know how much of a struggle it is with me not knowing when my period is coming because my period is so like random like one month it could be on the 10th the next month it's on the 15th the next month it's on, it's on the 20th like literally it's the weirdest thing i never understood it so like how i would know my period was coming like when i first got my period um for like the first couple years i had my period it was like my discharge would get darker and then out of nowhere that stopped so then the holy spirit start telling a sister hey your period getting ready to start go ahead and put on a pad go ahead and put on a liner and every single time it would happen well recently that stopped girl it's because it's most likely been on track so i've been tracking my period for like the past two or three months and every single month it's on the same day so what my theory is is when the holy spirit stopped telling me it was when my period got on track so that i know when my period's coming literally it's been the same date the past three months this feels so freeing it feels so amazing i'm like Y'all don't know how bad it feels when you don't know like when your period's coming. Speaking of periods, I ordered a big um thing of maxi pads because I don't buy maxi pads. One of my biggest pet peeves on my period is waking up and rushing to the bathroom. Because when you stand up, it all rushes out and like it travels up. And it just stains my underwear, gets on my clothes. I don't like that. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck I can do. Girl, you're supposed to be wearing nighttime pads. I didn't know that. I don't know where. I seen a commercial the other day on my TV. And they were talking about some weird nighttime pads, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait. Ooh, it's pretty big. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you got to unravel these boys four times. Stop playing. Dang. These definitely gonna help a sister out. I got size fives. I'm so happy I finally have them though because that has really been a problem for me. And I don't like wearing nighttime diapers. Let me tell you guys why I don't like nighttime diapers. I know it's a cool invention, people like them, but like I don't. I'm gonna tell you guys why. I'm so weird about having wet underwear. So you can only imagine how I feel when I go to the bathroom at nighttime and I pull down that like period underwear, like the blood gets cold while I'm sitting there peeing. So when I pull it back up, it's just cold blood on me and I, and I have to take the whole entire diaper off and they're expensive. So no. I also ordered some whitening strips. These are my top favorite whitening strips. These are the most effective whitening strips in the world. And personally for me, they give me zero sensitivity and that's because they have no peroxide. They are enamel safe. I love these. These are the Luminux whitening strips. Y'all, these work off of the first try. Okay, girl, we have two bags of stuff to go ahead and try on and haul. And this is the first outfit or not really necessarily an outfit, but like two separate pieces that I bought. These are the pants that I was like so shocked even fit me. These are in a size medium and like on the hanger they look so huge to me because i'm not used to being in a medium y'all no drawstring none of that they're just perfectly fitting and they flare at the bottom they're so freaking cute you guys these were literally 10.99 ross is the cheapest way to look so cute i won't lie you do have to dig but it's so worth it like this is so cheap this shirt how much was this shirt let's see 6.99 it's so freaking cute it's a los angeles shirt it says west coast yes ma'am and i just love these clothing pieces now as i was walking out i seen that ross had like <laughs> y'all probably like what the heck was that that joke sounded heavy i bought a bowl because i i really wanted like some more like aesthetic stuff to eat out of so i went ahead and bought this bowl because it was literally 3.99 they had so many cheap things there i seen this sweater as i was on my way out and i was like you know what this sweater actually like matches these pants so let me show you guys what the sweater looks like. The pants say New York and the top also says New York. Honestly, I might wear this to get my lashes done today. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Guys, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, and how much was this? $10.99. You guys, Ross has the cheapest clothes. This outfit, $22. $22. That is awesome, you guys. A bang for my buck. I can style this with beautiful jewelry, a dope little bag, some tennis shoes. Honey, okay. Finna be stacked girl my husband and i had went out yesterday and he just he's so sweet he just loves everything about me from the way i walk talk move everything and it, the whole entire time he was like girl you walk like a model you walk like a model i'm like oh my gosh girl get you somebody who's hyping you up 24 7 like i love these you guys i got the cutest pieces at freaking ross and how much were these 11.99 literally 11.99 you guys are you kidding me these are so freaking cute And they're like loose at the bottom real cute real cute y'all so as y'all can see i'm still petite i'm still skinny but i'm at a good weight oh what the heck is that oh i forgot 
forgot y'all i'm a freaking jewelry junkie look at this bracelet i got and it was made in italy and it's so delicate you guys it has a cross on it and it has like those little beads and like cute like designs and it was only 12.99 so yeah i went ahead and got that because y'all know i love my jewelry these ones let me tell y'all something just try something on even if you're not sure these ones i said there's no way i'm gonna like these they're straight they're just straight legged there's no curve to them they're just going straight down and that can make me look you know really straight legged i was like no way but i was like you know what just throw them in there something told me just throw them in there and i just i love them they're very cute like these are like my literal favorite like the camera is just not giving it justice okay so this jacket was $16.99 everything that says california on it is just so freaking cute like i'm not gonna lie this jacket is so adorable like it looks like i bought it in california <laughs> if you have kids teenagers definitely take them to ross because these outfits are really cute and i know like my teen girls would love like casual clothes like this girl throw your crocs on your uggs you feel what i'm saying like rock your little comfy look okay your little college girl clothes because the college girl look is real cute in high school too this one's even cuter y'all how much was this $14.99 this one's really cute like i really like this it'll go really cute with like gold jewelry i don't know it just looks like really casual really cute get your coffee go to class you feel what i'm saying <laughs> i'm not even a college gal but you know what i'm gonna rock the little attire okay 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 oh 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 not whoa y'all ever seen that video not whoa well, <laughs> I'm not going to try this one on just because I don't really want to. But I also got this cute little shirt because this is going to go so cute with high-waisted pants, y'all. Imagine, like, my high-waisted, like, bell bottoms, my white bell bottoms. And it's got, like, this shimmer at the bottom. So I wouldn't have bought this if I didn't have high-waisted pants because this is, like, extra crop. Like, it's going to be, like, all the way right here. But my pants are going to come right here. So, girl, this this is just too cute. Like, it's just too, 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 too cute. Matter of fact, let's just try it on look how adorable this shirt is and it was $6.99 $6.99 you guys it is so freaking cute i love it like it's so glam i love it i'm gonna have to get like some silver cute jewelry on like etsy or something or maybe even target because girl and it's also like giving cowgirl oh my gosh you know what it's gonna go so cute with these these girl i got these like five months ago at a marshall's oh my gosh it's gonna go so cute with these okay now i have to jazz this outfit up like seriously all right i am fresh out of the shower yes ma'am fresh and clean smelling good so i don't have like that much hair on my underarms i have like just the tiniest bit but i want to try this so we're gonna see if it works on like peach fuzz if not oh well of course like it's not much hair there but let's see so it says two minute cream remove the plug from the pump i already did that and turn to unlock pump the hair removal cream onto the spatula okay or your hand i'll just do my hand and spread evenly to fully coat the hair you want to remove but do not rub in and don't forget to wash any cream off your hands okay leave the cream on your skin for two minutes and then using spatula gently remove a small test area of cream if the hair comes away easily use spatula to remove the rest if your hair is more stubborn you can leave the cream on the cream on for up to six minutes but don't leave it any longer rinse your skin thoroughly with water and remove the cream completely and then dry okay so I'm going to put it on my underarms. Dude, if this works, I'm definitely going to try it like downstairs because it would be like a really even hair removal. So I'm hoping this works. So two minutes. Two minutes counting down. Okay, let me rinse this crap off my hands. It stank a little bit. That smell coming out a little bit. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Smell like onions. Ooh. Mm. Stank a little bit. Smell like eggs and onions a little bit. No, ain't nothing came off. Four minute timer. Ooh, imagine if your armpits smelled like nair. Oh my gosh, that's different. I'm also about to go ahead and put in some whitening strips. I wanna do them every day for like seven days straight. I only did four days straight. So the thing with these whitening strips is they are so like gummy, not gummy, they're like really jelly. So they don't like stick to wet teeth. So it is like very important that you dry your teeth with a paper towel. Just in case y'all be using these and y'all be like, they're not staying. They're way too expensive to not use them right. So what I do is I open up the package first because when you start to dry your teeth, your saliva is going to want to start to produce again and go on your teeth. So you only got so much time. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I take it out the package. So it's real easy for me. So I got them. I got them out. I'm about to go ahead and dry my top teeth. Don't close your mouth. Do not close your mouth. You got to make the uglier face. And then, 
bite. Make sure they're on there real good. Ooh, I'm so happy my lash appointment is today, girl. My dang lashes are doing gang signs. Okay, it took some hair off. All the hair is gone. Is this real? I'm done shaving. I'm done shaving. Screw shaving. My armpits are literally hair free from that. I cannot believe this. Vanilla vibes, yes ma'am. I've been smelling like vanilla every single day y'all for the past week or two weeks. I don't even know. Every single day I have been wearing vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. I don't know, I'm just like in a vanilla era right now. We're like, I just wanna smell like vanilla. My vanilla era, my vanilla era. Smelling all kind of good, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish lotioning up my body off camera and I'll be back. Look, I know they say not to eat or drink anything after your whitening strips, but I have to have my smoothie, y'all. I'm starting to feel like lightheaded and sick. It's 9 four, it's 9.14. I'm gonna head out soon. I have a 10 30 appointment. So not like real soon, but in like the next hour. When you take the whitening strips off, your teeth are gonna have like that gummy stuff all over it. All you gotta do is get your toothbrush. My toothbrush is in my shower. Am I the only one that brushes my teeth in the shower sometimes? Get some hot water on your toothbrush so your bristles are a little bit softer and then brush it all off. I brush my teeth with it because it's gonna whiten them. And then brush it out. Make sure you thoroughly rinse it all out. My teeth are already like so much whiter. I love those. You know what? I'm gonna try to like put the straw a little bit more far back so I just swallow it and it's not like touching my teeth. That's working. If there's a will, there's a way. My fan's broke. Ah. It fell yesterday and I was like, there's no way it's broken. Like it's fell a million times, but like I told y'all, it's a bummy day. So I'm not gonna do my eyebrows. I'm just gonna put my hair up in a little bun, put some dry shampoo, some good smelling dry shampoo. Cause when I get my lashes done, I love to have a little extra scent in my hair cause they be all up on my head. I'm gonna use my A Thousand Wishes dry shampoo. It just smells like perfume. My hair is literally a mess and I don't care. And then just a messy bun. Lately, I'm trying to get myself up and get myself all cute every day just to feel a little better, but I feel perfectly fine without doing that today. You ever thrown away bobby pins because you felt like you had so many that it didn't matter? Sweep them on your floor, sweep them up off your floor and throw them in the trash and then you end up actually needing them? Girl, same. I'm gonna use a little bit of hair cream, just a little bit, just to push it up a little. Mm, that looks ugly. Oh well. All right, jewelry. Y'all, I got some $12 earrings. I don't really care to have like real earrings just because like when you buy fake earrings, you have variety, honey. And I found this dope variety pack for $12 on Amazon and I have been wearing the heck out of these earrings. I'll just add them to my Amazon storefront. I just put things on there. Um, if y'all wanna find something that I've talked about, it'll be like super easy to find it. Not trying to like sell you guys stuff. I just put what I like on there because a lot of you guys always ask me where I got it, how to find it, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not trying to like oversell. I'm not trying to like sell y'all nothing. Um, but if you do like these earrings, let me show y'all. So far, I have worn these earrings, these earrings, and these earrings, you guys. I am so picky with my jewelry, but this is the best variety pack I have found for earrings in a long time. And it's so cheap. I'm gonna wear these today. These are really in right now, they're really cute. Um, but I love like textured hoops, so I love these. And then these are kind of like croissant hoops. I've worn these like four times already. They're so freaking cute, I love them. So those are my favorite. Gotta love Amazon, right? These are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like, I really like these earrings, but I kind of want to do the croissant ones just because I feel like these go with my vibe today a little bit more. These are more elegant and more like dressy. And then these are more like casual. So I'm gonna actually 
take this out and i am going to do the croissant ones instead but y'all seen how cute that dang drop earring was what is it like water drop earring i don't know it's so cute love that but i'm just gonna go for these ones um y'all remember how we used to want our hoops bigger the bigger the better nowadays i actually prefer for my earrings to be like smaller because they just look better that way and they look more real like when they're smaller they look more real but i had the biggest hoops y'all probably out of everybody i had hoops this big i don't know if y'all remember they were freaking huge they were humongous and i was so proud of them and i was so happy that my mom actually let me wear them because my mom look hoops and if you watched me from the beginning you know how excited i was that my mom was letting me wear those hoops the hoops and lip gloss days okay and these was them girls okay the broadway lip glosses they still them girls i be getting mine off of amazon now though but yeah um hoops lip gloss and edges swooping your edges was so big y'all it's crazy because the trends that we have right now girl in a couple years from now we're gonna be like girl y'all remember when we used to oh that was so ugly and then that's gonna come back around to be cute too so it's just like wear whatever the heck you want to wear because the same outfits people are calling ugly they're gonna be wearing in a couple years from now so I don't know about that V, y'all. My armpit's kind of burning. It's not like intense, but it's burning. Maybe I shouldn't scrub my underarms with the washcloth on the days that I'm going to do this because maybe it made them more sensitive because I already have sensitive underarms. When did I turn into a bling girl? Because I love my bling, y'all. Like, I love everything to be like blinged out from my phone, my nails, to my jewelry, to my purse. I love noise. Like, the. I love that noise y'all. I want to get like a really loud charm bracelet or like a coin bracelet. It's just hard to find bracelets in my like wrist size and with coin bracelets the way they're set up you can't really take them to the jewelry doctor. Maybe not the ones I've seen. The ones I've seen you can't really take to the jewelry doctor to get them fitted to your wrist because I usually get all my watches like my Apple watch girl is fitted to my wrist. My dad he wanted to get my mom like a customized gold bracelet when they first got together and so he knew her wrist was really tiny and like bracelets didn't fit her. So what he would do was he would size her wrist with his hand. Her wrist was like this big. So he would like hold her wrist and size it and he would look at his hand. And so when he took it into the person to get it customized, he was like, this is how big her wrist is. And it was perfectly made to her wrist. I thought that was sweet. You know, I have completely forgiven my dad. I'm going to get emotional because it took me so long to forgive him and be set free from like the unforgiveness and the bitterness. And I'm going to tell you, what helped me forgive him? It's like God gave me visions of him as a little boy, as a teenager. And like he was just a person. And it doesn't make excuses. I'm not making excuses for his actions, but I'm so happy to finally be free from that because every time my dad would come to my mind, I would just be angry. I was so mad. You guys know I used to like be so mad like when I would talk about him because I was still healing. The hurt you caused me and my family, the hurt that your family is still causing my family because you didn't set boundaries. I talked to my grandpa like not too long before he passed away and I told him, finally I spoke up for myself and I said, no. I said, everything that happened was your son's fault. I said, I have to be honest with you. I said, now that I am a woman, I know now that the man is the leader of the family. He sets those boundaries. So none of those things that his family did to my mom would have ever happened had he said, hey, nope. It's my wife, these are my kids. If you don't respect us, you ain't coming over here. You won't see my kids, you won't see my wife, I won't speak to you if you don't respect my family. And my grandpa was like, you're right. He was like, you're right. And now I'm starting to see the bigger picture. I'm starting to see what actually happened. Life was actually pretty darn good for a couple years. We were in church, my dad was trying, you know, he was finally trying to get on the same page with my mom. And then out of nowhere, this demonic attack came and he didn't know how to fight it. And so he gave in to everything that they wanted him to do. And they stole his life. They stole my dad. And so I'm not mad at him anymore. I forgive him. Like, I love him. I still love him. And I, now that I'm like woke, I wish I could go back in time and be like, dad, this is what's happening. You're not crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. You're being attacked because there's a calling on your life. And they stole all of that. That's why me and Brent, we try so hard to stay on the same page when it comes down to staying focused. Like, what they did to dad, they be trying that crap on us because it's generational. But we can't let them have their way. Because they didn't already stole his life. They didn't stole grandpa's life. We gotta break these generational curses and behaviors. In order to forgive somebody, you have to try to understand them. And also, remember the good. 
You gotta remember the good. I gotta make sure I bring the right purse because she do not take skin to pay. And I'll be sitting there looking dumb. I done got all emotional. Got my nose running. Where's my Billie Eilish perfume? Now listen, always, always, always spread the tank top or the t-shirt that's underneath your sweatshirt or jacket. I cannot tell y'all how many times I got hot somewhere and I only sprayed the perfume on my jacket. So when I took my jacket off, there was no fragrance on my shirt. You put on what I'm saying? So always make sure you spray your shirt. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my little sweatshirt on, spray the rest of my perfume. And then, you know when your mouth has been closed for a long time? Like when I get my lashes done, personally for me, I don't really like to talk. I just like to sit there. And so my mouth is closed for a long time. And then your mouth gets dry. So then your breath gets a little, you know. So I always pop a little gum in before I go. So I have gum to chew. I cannot believe I did my own toes, y'all. Oh my gosh. But this is my OOTD. Yes, ma'am. Very cute. I love how they flare at the bottom. I'm gonna push the table over. I need more space. How freaking cute is this outfit for $20? Girl, stop playing. You can show look cute on a budget, okay? Get you some little fake cheap jewelry. It's gonna jazz up the whole outfit. Coach be having like really nice necklaces on their um, outlet website. And this right here, y'all, I have showered in this twice and like it has not changed colors. And I did it on accident. I did do it on purpose and it still has not changed colors, but it's so cute. And my teeth look so much whiter, look. I'm just gonna keep going, okay? And get into the color I want. Cause girl, I will be drinking coffee. I will be drinking big coffee. I need to start vlogging in front of this window more. It's just like, my neighbors be like walking past and stuff like that. And I don't want them really knowing I'm a content creator. I like to have my privacy because once somebody knows you're a content creator, they watch all your videos and they know everything about your life. And I ain't really feeling that. But I'm just loving my smile. It ain't nothing wrong with quicker teeth. What did J. Cole say? What was it, J. Cole? Pretty sure it was J. Cole. Quicker smile. Word for word, what he said was, they tell me I should fix my grill because I got money now. I ain't gonna sit around in front like I ain't thought about it. Yo, that is so much facts. A perfect smile is more appealing, but it's funny how my stuff is crooked. Look how far I didn't got without it. I keep my twisted grill just to show them kids it's real. We ain't picture perfect, but we worth the picture still. He goes on to say, love yourself, girl, or nobody will. That is exactly, if I could have worded that any different, I wouldn't have. I would have worded it just like that. But yeah, girl, there's nothing wrong with crooked teeth. And there's nothing wrong with having natural teeth. Like all these veneers and stuff like that, I get it. They are cute. I've considered getting veneers but they're not good for your teeth, and especially, especially when you're young. Veneers are like one of the worst things you can ever do for your teeth. You might as well just work on your natural smile. Braces, whitening, you can get filing, just work on your natural teeth. That's what I would tell people because nowadays, people get a bag and get their teeth done, and like I'm gonna tell you, it's one of the worst things you can ever do for your teeth. And later on down the line, it will most likely cause problems. And so I ain't falling into that veneer trap. And I have had like orthodontists, like people with their own practice, I have had people tell me in exchange for content, they will do my teeth. So the opportunities have presented themselves but I turned that crap down that's my take on it but everybody can do what they want to do with their body like you know what I'm saying do what you gotta do and if I'm gonna be real with y'all I think they're experimenting on people nowadays I think all these surgeries and all these things that are coming out like they look good for the moment but I just feel like we need to sit back and see how this plays out I seen one video of a girl talking about how she got veneers and she can't move her hands and her legs the same because she has nerve damage and she spent what forty thousand dollars on her teeth I always treat myself to a little Starbucks when I get done um, treating myself to lashes because it's literally right here, but I'm not gonna get no venti. I'm just gonna get a grande Hello, can I have a grande strawberry acai lemonade with light ice and that'll be it Okay, thank you. It could be this, but I don't think it is. Um, I think it's just that I have sensitive underarms and I cannot use that VEET. The VEET is literally making my underarms feel raw. Like it feels like when I used um, baking soda and like coconut oil, natural deodorant. 
girl my armpits are so sensitive that's why i've always been like scared to do waxing and stuff like that honestly i'm just gonna stick with my shaving for my underarms and i'll use that v i'll try it downstairs and i'll also try it on my legs because i'm not really sensitive like my skin isn't really sensitive now listen i'm not just gonna use it of course i'm gonna do patch testing which i should have done with my armpits make sure you always do patch testing because girl i didn't screw it up but my underarms are burning right now and it could be a mix between the Veet and also the deodorant I use because I used the Rio Dio deodorant by Sol de Janeiro and it does have like a gentle exfoliant in it. But honestly, I think it would have happened either way. Look at how red my armpit is, you guys. Like I definitely have a slight chemical burn. It's like really burning. And I guess this is very common with armpits. Hi. Okay, your eye color is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank okay. you. You have a great day. Thank you. I think it would have happened no matter what I use because that stuff is just too strong for my underarms. Jordan texted me while I was getting my lashes done and he asked me if I want to go out to eat. So I'm trying to think about what I want to eat and I'm thinking I want to eat Applebee's because I love their chicken sandwich. So that's what I'm about to do because girl it was so embarrassing in there. My stomach was rumbling and rumbling and rumbling. But like I was not hungry this morning. I wasn't hungry till I, till I got um, in the lash salon. Mmm. My husband bought me like a little trash can for my car. I can just put my little gun straight in there. Thank you, baby. He be so sweet. He always be picking me up something when he's out. Always. He always be thinking about me. Thank you, semi truck. That was so sweet. Cause most of the time they don't be trying to get over from me when I be trying to merge on the highway. And I'm thinking I want to do hygiene empties in today's video because my bucket's getting really full. And y'all enjoyed my hygiene empties last time, so I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do um, when I get back from lunch. It be the things that I don't think people want to watch that y'all want to watch. Y'all always be like, girl, where the hygiene empties at? Can you do another hygiene empties? And I be like, y'all really want to see that? Like, okay, I'll do that. You feel what I'm saying? I be collecting them just in case. So I got a bin full of empty products, y'all. And y'all know I be telling y'all the truth about these products. Look, I be reviewing them and letting y'all know how I truly feel about them. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know how I feel about the products that I finished out. Man, I have not drove my SUV on a sunny day with a t-shirt on. This feels so amazing. Driving is so much more fun when you don't have like a jacket on or a coat and it's sunny. It's just a vibe, girl. You get your Starbucks. Okay, but I'm like, did Starbucks go up in price? Because this was like almost $7. Like, did they go up in price? Like, I can wait. I was getting ready to say, I can't wait. No, I can wait. But it's going to be so much fun when I can take my little daughter out to like Starbucks days and she can come with me to get like nails done. And I told Jordan, like, look, when we have a daughter and she gets in her little teenage years, like 15, 16, if her grades are good and her behavior is good, she can get her lashes done. She can get little stuff that mama gets because, okay, girl, you earning it. Like, you doing what you're supposed to be doing. She gonna know, I got you and I'm gonna make sure you good. The things you want, I can provide that. But you gotta make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing so she can learn, hey, you gotta work for these things. You come home with an all-A report card, you might get slipped an extra $100. You feel what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. One time, my brothers was so mad. So it was parent-teacher conference day. This is when we all went to the same school. Their grades was not looking very good. The behavior was not looking very good. So mine's was though. Like I had all A's, great behavior. And my dad, I was shocked because he usually didn't do stuff like this. This man took me to get new clothes, got my nails done, and took me to the movies. Girl, when I tell you I felt so special, so it's like little things I want to do like that for my little kids and stuff like that. And I have like a whole list in my phone of like things I'm going to do with my future kids. Like little pizza making and like all like cool things that I want to do. Like if I ever have a day where I'm like, I don't know what we're going to do today, y'all. Like I want to do something, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to go on that list and I'm going to be like, I've been making this list since I was... 1920 and I'm using it honey on these kids I knew I would have who texted me area code said big best in games night party this Sunday midnight balloon drop shut up hey baby I'm here okay baby I'll be right out all right, girl, I got my same old, same old, my crispy bacon and ranch sandwich. I get extra pickle, no lettuce, and extra ranch on the side. What you got? I was in a little tandy windy mood. So tandy windy. Some, <laughs> some surprise. You know, something basic. Some extra good. barbecue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, it don't ever be enough. Ooh, wee. Girl. Man, their ranch is fire. They gave you a lot. Mm -hmm. I always put a little bit of extra on my sandwich, save some for the fries. This is one of the best chicken sandwiches, I'm telling you. How are your tenders? 
I'm not even eating yet. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, for me, Applebee's always got some of the best tenders though. Really? To me, yes. I okay. really think so. I haven't had the tenders in a while, so I wouldn't even know. You should try one of these, like a little bit of one. Mm -mm, I'm full. These are good. I mean, I did not mean to say that. <laughs> I say that every single time he offers me his food. No, I'm full. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite chicken sandwich, though. <laughs> it is so good. I try to, like, scarf my food down because if I let it sit for too long, I'm full. Off of, like, one bite. It's crazy. Yeah, I feel that. My body's weird. I could have been dead Sleeping in my grave In my grave but God blessed me to see another day And even when, and even when I did wrong You were still there I'm so glad that God still hears a sinner's prayer I'm so glad that God still hears a sinner's prayer Lord I'm so glad that God still hears a sinner's prayer. And I know all have sinned and fell short of your glory. Yeah. I'm just glad that I'm here to Girl, I'm not feeling the hair. I'm not feeling the hair. It got completely messed up when I was getting my lashes done. So I just threw a bonnet on because I feel more like confident in this. I'm not gonna lie. But I know I ain't the only one that's so glad and so grateful that Jesus Christ still hears and listens to sinner's prayers. Oh my gosh, also, I'm so sorry it took me so long to put them on my Bible, but girl, whoever sent me these Bible tabs, thank you so much. I just put them on the other day. I am so grateful. Like, this is like one of the best gifts I could have ever received. Thank you so much. I love them. I thank you so much, because honestly, I probably would have never bought them for myself. Before I go ahead and officially head out of here, like I told y'all, I have a bin full of product empties, and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly go through these, because girl, anybody trying to sit up here and listen into rambling about one product all day so we're gonna try to zoom through these and with that being said let's get started okay so first things first I have my Jergens hydrating coconut lotion if you did not watch my recent vlog where I went hygiene shopping then you don't know but this right here is a 10 out of 10 hands down this is my top favorite store-bought lotion it makes me smell so beautiful when I tell you it's like a perfumed lotion very moisturizing and the fragrance there's nothing bad about this lotion. 10 out of 10. Here we go, girl. This right here, me and her was best friends for a little week. This is the Olay Moisture Ribbons Plus Shea and Lavender Oil Body Wash. Very thick. A little goes a long way. The smell was gorgeous. So moisturizing. Woo! When I tell you, 10 out of 10, so moisturizing. Have a sister smelling so beautiful. These were so cheap on Amazon. Y'all know I usually use the Cottonelle wipes, but these were so cheap. They were like $4 for three of them. So I went ahead and purchased them. And girl, they are like just like Cottonelle. These are the Amazon Basic Flushable Wipes, or like the Amazon brand. Girl, 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend. They work. Same as Cottonelle. Speaking of Cottonelle. Cottonelle. One, two, three, four, five, six. I went through six Cottonelle packs of wipes. I love these y'all, but them Amazon ones are cheaper. 10 out of 10. They do the job, okay? And they really do break apart like tissue. Love those. They be having a sister fresh after number two. Like, okay. Oh my gosh. Dove did they thing on this body wash. This is the Dove Revitalizante. I don't even know. Cherry and Chia Milk Body Wash. 10 out of 10. My most favorite thing about it, not even the scent. It was the consistency of this product. It had so much slip. Like it had so much slip. It just glided over my skin. So moisturizing. And the scent was very beautiful. When you smell it out of the bottle, it's like, ugh, I don't know about that. It kind of smells like plants. But when you actually wash yourself up with it in the shower, it's lighter. And it's, it's actually beautiful like I really love it so I'm gonna go ahead and write that a 10 out of 10 dang everything so far been a 10 out of 10 let me get something bad oh here we go so on my girly ting shopping haul video I went ahead and got this caress body wash because I have been missing the caress scent never again if I remember how this treated my skin will I ever buy another caress bottle I did not have any problem with the bar soap which I'm so happy about because they have the same scent the body wash though 
I think this was the culprit of drying my skin out and leaving patches all over my skin. When I stopped using this, I haven't had any issues. So, Caress ain't it. It smells good, but it ain't it. Ooh, I love this mouthwash. It's not even that it makes my breath smell fresh all day. Smart Mouth does that. But this right here has fluoride in it, which I wish Smart Mouth had. But fluoride is so important for your teeth, you guys. If you have sensitive teeth, if you don't want cavities, girl, get you some fluoride products. This has a good amount of fluoride in it, and it tastes good. Ever since my, my last hygiene empties, this is since then. So what is that, like two months? It was like dusty. What is that, two months? So I didn't go through these in one month. But I went through two boxes of the Always Pure Cotton Size 1 pads. Love Love these you guys they are so lightweight i never have any leakage except for like if i try to do them at nighttime they're not nighttime pads but um i love these like you can barely even feel them like they're my favorite pads y'all i'm not gonna lie and i also love you know the little light blue color caress bar soap i actually really enjoyed this i didn't have no issue with it it just worked like a regular bar soap so 10 out of 10 the smell is just a one okay my luminux y'all already know how i feel about this 10 out of 10 these are the only whitening strips that do not give me sensitivity and they are the only whitening strips i can literally tell the difference in my teeth after i get done using them here is the skin to mitt skin therapy lotionized um shea butter um shave gel oh my gosh girl this junk is so cheap and it works so freaking good it puts a beautiful barrier in between like your skin and the razor like a little shave barrier it's awesome very moisturizing 10 out of 10 this is awesome too you guys this is the mayo avocado moisturizing hair milk my curls look so beautiful when i use this product it is the perfect amount of moisture it's not too heavy it's not too light my curls are so defined so shiny and they look so amazing every single time i use this the only thing i will say is that like it barely has a scent like it don't really have no scent so i wish they could put like more of a scent to it maybe like some some coconut something but 10 out of 10 i'm not even gonna knock it down because it don't have a scent because the way it works so y'all remember when i went to cvs and i bought these on my period because i love flushable feminine wipes it just makes your period so much easier i cannot stand putting a bloody wipe in the trash i don't like it i wrap it up but i still just don't like it i prefer to just flush it it makes it so much easier and i found these at cvs when i tell y'all i went back and got me a whole nother pack that's sitting in my bathroom right now because i love these oh these are the CVS flushable cleansing cloths, green tea and cucumber scented, very lightly scented. Um, I didn't experience any irritation. They kept me fresh. They did the job and I was just able to flush them. But I was kind of embarrassed when I watched the footage back. It was after I uploaded it. I was so embarrassed because I had bought this one too. And I was like, ooh, flushable wipes. Girl, clearly on the front of this package, it says do not flush. These are not flushable. It doesn't even say flushable. These are the CVS cleansing cloths, coconut and jasmine scent. So like feminine cleansing cloths. Now I didn't have a problem with these. I'm going to go ahead and rate these like a 7 out of 10. They were decent. They did the job, but they're not flushable. So I'm not giving them all that. And they didn't even have no scent. So matter of fact, these are 4 out of 10. They didn't even do all that. I would, I, I definitely would not buy these again. Oh, I love these too, you guys. These are flushable, but these ones are like a little bit more expensive. These are the good wipes, the down there wipes. And I love how it says you're a a genius. <laughs> but they're pH balanced and they have like a very light like rose scent and they're flushable. I love that. And you can travel with them because they come in like little packets. Love them. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. I got to go ahead and stack up on some more. This right here, girl, is an amazing facial cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. It is a moisturizing cleanser, but it still foams up and your face feels so clean, but not squeaky. So it's not stripped. Loved this cleanser. It did very well for my skin. 10 out of 10. These are the Intuition Sensitive Care razor refills mm -hmm, they're a little pricey but girl they get assist right 10 out of 10 if you have sensitive skin if razors irritate you you got to get this razor you got to get this razor love this this is definitely my favorite whitening toothpaste this is the colgate optic white advanced um toothpaste i love the flavor it leaves my breath smelling so fresh and it whitens my teeth so i really love that um this right here this is the summer melody by bath and body works um body scrub i did not like the scent at all i love their dry shampoo in the scent summer Mel melody but Ooh, I did not like this. It just was, no, 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 zero out of 10. 10 out of 10. This only comes out once a year though. Next year, I'm stalking up. This is the Bath and Body Works Frosted Coconut Snowball Body Wash. 10 out of 10. Definitely one of my top favorite coconut scents. Like, oh my gosh, it's just so, so, so beautiful. I just don't understand why you guys bring this out in the winter when it's morely a summer scent. Like, it smells like summer. Y'all already know how I feel about this, girl. I use this head to toe. This is the Lumi Whole Body Deodorant Smooth Salad Soft Powder, 10 out of 10. It is literally, I don't want to say impossible because, you know, but for me, it's like impossible to have odor with this. It's crazy. 
I've, I've never had a deodorant like this. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10 for sure. I 100% recommend. Here we have the Gillette Venus Pubic Hair and Skin Razor Refills. Definitely love these. 10 out of 10. Y'all already know how I feel about these. This has been the only razor I use on my underarms and downstairs area for like the past, I want to say like, three years here we have the summer's eve fragrance free daily cleansing cloths girl i love these y'all these always get a sister right they freshen a sister up with no irritation i'm not gonna lie summer's eve did a big one on this one i'm not gonna lie 10 out of 10 speaking of summer's eve don't judge me but i really want us to go ahead and try it this is the summer's eve baby powder daily gentle spray oh my gosh y'all this stuff smelled amazing i never sprayed it like directly on my downstairs area but as i told y'all i was gonna go ahead and try this on my menstrual cycle and like spray it on my pad i'm just gonna rate this like a zero out of ten because if i'm being honest it didn't really do anything i didn't have any irritation but like the scent would fade away like instantly like the scent was just gone it didn't really do like anything so for my purpose like just to spray it on my pad i didn't really care for it what you think this is 100 out of 10 this is the azo complete feminine balance daily probiotic this stuff keeps a girl fresh fresh to death i'm not kidding this is the best this is the <laughs> this is the best <laughs> this is the best Oh, y'all my wisdom teeth are grown in now and I keep biting my freaking cheek this is the best um feminine probiotic 10 out of 10 it's definitely been two months because I have two bottles of azo in here so yeah next I have the dove sensitive skin bar soap I use this to go ahead and cleanse my lady bits love this y'all moisturizing keeps me fresh doesn't irritate me it does the job very safe for your downstairs area 10 out of 10 would recommend y'all I love this bar soap so much because this was my top favorite scent by dove in the body wash but then they discontinued the scent of the body wash they just kept the body wash but the scent's gone it smells disgusting but they kept the scent in the bar soap this is the dove gentle exfoliating bar soap oh my gosh this smells so amazing but you know what i wish dove did i wish they made a pink body wash you know their pink bar that smell they need to make a body wash in that exact smell that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say all right 10 out of 10 that bar soap guaranteed you're going to have a scent on your body it's just something about that bar soap it just sticks to the skin here we have the pronamel active shield whitening toothpaste this is my top favorite toothpaste pronamel toothpaste y'all it has a good amount of fluoride it is awesome for your teeth 10 out of 10 the only thing they can improve on is the actual suds it is really suds up it's not a rich lather but because this product this is like the best toothpaste you can use for your teeth health wise this is um 10 out of 10. Well, girl, I must say I am so grateful that you tuned in to today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my company. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little talks and everything. If only you knew how much it really means to me that you made it to the end of today's video. I love you guys so much. And I want you to remember to be kind to yourself. Uplift yourself. Oh, you made a mistake? Get back up and try again. Remember, guilt is of the devil and guilt only keeps you in bondage. Once again, thank you so much for making it to the end of today's video. I love you all. God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Real quick, let's get into a prayer circle. Let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. Dear Lord Jesus, I want to come into prayer with my sisters today, my sisters and brothers in Christ today, Lord Jesus, and I just want to ask that you please, Lord Jesus, fill us with your thoughts for us, Lord Jesus. Help us to speak kindly to ourselves, Lord Jesus. Help my sisters and brothers in Christ to know that you love them and that once they repent and believe that you have forgiven them, they are forgiven, they are set free. I ask that you please help them to understand the amount of love you have for them. I ask that you please cover each and every person in this prayer circle with your holy blood, Lord Jesus. Bless their mind, body, and soul, finances, health, mental health. Cover their loved ones with your holy blood and your holy angels, Lord Jesus. Keep them safe for the hedge of protection around them each and every day. Lord Jesus, I ask that you please go before them each and every day and prepare the hearts of the people that they are going to encounter. Help them to realize when the devil is trying to deceive them and bait them. Help us to love one another more. Help us to understand one another more. Soften our hearts for people. In the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I love you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' name.